Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got a fun little proof. I'm going to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so on, all the way up to some natural number n, equals n times n plus 1 over 2. Now, before you click off the video thinking, oh, I've seen this result before, uh, today's proof I'm going to be showing you is perhaps one you haven't seen before. And in fact, I've done another sort of non-standard proof of this result uh, using combinatorics and using quite a nice diagram. Uh, so I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But the way I'm going to be doing this, uh, or the sort of the... The, the, the procedure I do to evaluate this sum here and show that it's equal to this sum, you can use that exact same procedure to work out the sum of the first n square numbers, the sum of the first n cube numbers, the sum of the first n powers of 4, and so on. Okay, um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck in. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is consider one power more. So we've got, currently got first powers, so the sum of the first, uh, sorry, the sum of the first n first powers, so 1 to the 1 plus 2 to the 1 plus 3 to the 1, and so on. So we're going to consider the sum, uh, or sort of, we're going to consider firstly second powers, so powers of 2, but in particular differences of consecutive square numbers. Okay, so we have, uh, we'll start with uh, n plus 1 squared minus n squared, and then we're going to go down, plus n squared minus n minus 1 squared, and so on. So we're just looking at the difference of two consecutive squares. So we start off with n plus 1 squared minus n squared, then we're going to do plus n squared minus n minus 1 squared, plus so on, all the way down to plus 3 squared minus 2 squared, plus 2 squared minus 1 squared. This is what's known as a telescoping series, because you can see here the minus n squared and the plus n squared are going to cancel. The minus n minus 1 squared and the plus n minus 1 squared in that next term there is going to cancel, and so on. And all we're left with is the n plus 1 squared at the start and the minus 1 squared at the end. So this thing here is equal just to n plus 1 squared minus 1, which is of course n squared plus 2n. Okay, but we can write this thing here in summation notation. So this sum here is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n plus 1. Uh, sorry, the sum from i equals 1 to n of i plus 1 squared minus i squared. Okay, so when i equals 1, we've got 1 plus 1, which is 2 squared, minus 1 squared, which is that term. Then when i is 2, we get 3 squared minus 2 squared, which is that term, and so on, all the way up to the last term, which is n plus 1 squared minus n squared. So this expression here is the exact same as this thing here, but we've shown that this expression here by telescoping is this thing here. But of course, we can complete the square, uh, sorry, uh, we can uh, look at the difference of two squares on this thing here. So this thing is precisely the sum from i equals 1 to n of i plus 1, minus, I plus one squared minus i squared, which is just going to be 2i plus 1. Okay, so it's i plus 1 plus i times i plus 1 minus i, but i plus 1 minus i is just 1. So this thing here is just i plus 1 plus i, which is 2i plus 1. Okay, let's bring this up to the top of the board and continue. Okay, so let's carry on from here. Uh, we've got n squared plus 2n equals this thing here. But of course, we can sort of uh, expand this using linearity. This is just 2 times the sum from i equals 1 to n of i plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of just i. Uh, of just 1, sorry. Okay, but of course, this thing here is just n. We're just adding up 1 n times. So I can rub this sum out and just replace it with n. Okay, so I've got n squared plus 2n equals 2 times the sum from i equals 1 to n of i plus n. So let's subtract n from both sides. So we get n squared plus n, which is precisely n times n plus 1, is equal to 2 times the sum from i equals 1 to n of i. And of course, just divide by 2 gives us that the sum from i equals 1 to n of i is n times n plus 1 over 2. And of course, this thing here is just 1 plus 2 plus so on all the way up to n, and we get the result that we expect to get. This guy here equals n times n plus 1 over 2, just as we expect. Um, so that's the proof complete. Um, so let's draw a little box there. Of course, as a result, the standard way to prove it is perhaps use what Gauss did and sort of reverse the terms. Um, but the thing is, that doesn't work when you're trying to do squares or cubes or fourth powers or anything like that. Uh, the other way is to do it by induction, but of course that means that you need to know what you're working towards. Uh, so that isn't ideal, but the great thing about this procedure is you can use it to then work out what uh, squares are. So at the start we had, our, our, the key thing was looking at this thing here, the sum from i equals 1 to n of i plus 1 
squared minus i squared. But if we want to say work out the sum from i equals 1 to n of i squared, you just change this to one more power than what you want, so cubed. Okay, so then when you do exactly the same procedure, you'll then be able to work out what the sum of the first n squares are. And if you wanted to do the sum of the first n cubed, say, then you change this number to one more, so 4, like so, and you get the picture. Okay, so if you want, I encourage you to try and work out or prove some of the standard formula you know, the sum of the first n squares, some of the first n cubes, and then try and work out the sum of the first n powers of 4, and so on. Anyway, that's today's video done. I hope you have enjoyed it, learned something new. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my other fun maths videos as well. Um, but that's all for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Ooh, have a great day. <laughs>